Hi guys, in this video, we're going to test Hogwarts Legacy on the i5-12400F paired with the RX 6600. As always, exact graphical settings used will be shown at the start of every clip. Timestamps of the test are available, and all the parts used in this test will be in the description below. With all that out of the way, let's get started. Expelliarmus! I've heard things! Expelliarmus! Good friend! Glacier! Defender! Rebellion. Expelliarmus. Good finger. Glacius. Good finger. There they are up ahead. No one in this is mine. Kill anyone who tries. Over there, by the hamlet. They're under attack. That's on. I'll snap that one. Imperial. Expelliarmus! Uncle! Here we go! 
will be the You've one less follow. You only have Ranrock to blame. We're close to a breakthrough. I can feel it. Traficus Totalus. Just 
Rebellion. Potato! That's the best. Yeah. Good for you. Uh, is that all they're teaching in school these days? Incendio! Uh, Rookwoods don't go uh, down. It's good for you. Oh, Incendio! Good for you. No! Bombarda. Ah, there you are. Good for you. <laughs> Protect! Send the out! Delicious! Defend 
Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Have you heard from your family? Leave you with your brother. I won't rest. With the test clip over, we come to our results. The RX 6600 performed as expected. On low settings of 1080p, it almost averaged 100 FPS. Enabling FSR and setting it to quality should certainly give above 100 FPS average on low settings. So keep that in mind in case you want the extra frames. On a side note, FSR can be blurry when used in 1080p. So it would kind of depend on your preference if you want to use it or not. On ultra settings of the same resolution, the RX 6600 averaged 50 FPS. So you might want to enable FSR and set it to quality if you want to play above 60 FPS average. Playing on 1440p is still possible, but you might want to enable FSR again if you want to get playable frame rates. Now do take note that these tests were done on open areas and during combat, meaning this should be the most taxing scenario the game should have. So expect higher FPS when you're just roaming around or if you're inside Hogwarts campus. On that note, we end our test. If you liked the video, show your support by liking it and consider subscribing to the channel. For more benchmarks on Hogwarts Legacy and this pairing, head over to the channel. As always, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.